now for this one this one is a simple one too and it's just you can get i haven't seen leather dollar tree in a while but you can get leather from dollar tree i just use this um leather faux leather fabric that i had and you're just going to want to make sure that everything is equal mine was about 12 inches and then i'm just going to fold it fold it again and then cut the corners off cutting them equally i cut about two inches in on each side to cut another little square out so you want to make sure that they're even because you're going to line them up so i'm trying to make sure they're as even as possible you can cut them individually and make sure that they're absolutely perfect without stacking them but i wanted to save a little bit of time so i stacked them together and then what you're going to do is just fold them line up the sides inside if you know if you understand what i'm saying as you can see you can use fabric glue you can use hot glue you can go back you can stitch it i used um the hot glue and then i did go in and stitch it after with the machine but if you don't have a machine you can hand sew it you cannot sew it and just you know get you a good glue make sure that it adheres real nice and you want to do that to every corner like i said you don't need a machine to do it but if you do have one that'll be great once you're done with that then i came in and i top stitched and again you can hand sew at the outside and this is how it looked and it reminded me of a lot of pieces that i have seen in high-end places so this is a cute way to make a leather catch-all tray